Shane for Marasi News on day two of Adipec 2018 here with Zamal Offshore, uh, the general manager, Babak, and also the chief HR and admin officer, Mazin. How are you guys doing today? Fantastic. We're doing great. Thank you. I don't want to take too much of your time up. I know it's been a long day, but uh, first and foremost, can you guys tell me how long have you been participating at Adipec, uh, 28, or Adipec in general? Uh, well, for the last two years, we are here on the stand. Uh, we've been participated the year before that in the exhibition, and uh, it's really important for us to be here. Uh, this year, we are doing it differently. Uh, we are creating a stand that uh, basically show the divisions that we have in the, uh, in the operation, which is the uh, uh, shipbuilding and repair, uh, marine operation, and engineering and construction division. And uh, for those of the viewers who don't know, can you just tell us a little bit about your products and your services and your company? Yes, Samuel has uh, been, uh, been in the industry for 40 years. He's the, basically one of the only integrated, uh, fully integrated offshore companies with his own shipyard, shipbuilding, ship repair, engineering and construction, and Samuel Marine. We are uh, uh, the largest uh, OSV fleet in the Middle East currently, and uh, we keep expanding despite the market. So the advantage we give is a pure Saudi company, which is very integrated and offers the whole range with backup of the shipyard. Um, from, in your opinion, can you tell us a little bit about the challenges that the industry is currently facing and how Zamal Offshore combats those challenges? Yeah, well, we were ahead of the game when it came to Saudization and localization or nationalization. We invested in, uh, in Saudi training, Saudi officers, long before the ICTFA came in. We saw this is the way uh, all the majors are going to go, uh, definitely with Saudi Arabia. We've seen it happening in Indonesia, in India, in Canada. So we invested in this very, very quickly. Uh, we launched the first full Saudi crew last year, Zamil 58, which has never happened before. We have even built vessels in Saudi Arabia. We were the first one building diesel electric anchor handlers and happened in Saudi Arabia again. So we were ahead of the game. Uh, of course, the challenges were well, uh, when the market collapsed, all the low cost uh, operators from Asia moved like a wave into, into the Gulf and dumped the prices and played on that. But uh, quickly, actually, uh, the national oil companies realized that they're compromising safety. So they are going back again with, with, with us who are, how to say, serious players. We are the only Saudi company who have the 29, 000, certified by 29001. We follow the OGP guidelines. Actually, during this market, we doubled our HSC efforts and cost and training. We just appointed the chief HR officer one year ago to show commitment to, to our people, to our assets. And uh, our ICTFA in Kingdom Total Value Added is, uh, we are Platinum members. I mean, we have 29% now. Again, staying ahead. So there's challenges, for, but we are trying to be ahead of the game. Speaking of Saudi Arabia, can you tell us a little bit about how your company's values uh, are in line with Vision 2030? Um, as, as, as Babak told you, you know, we are, uh, we focused heavily on uh, developing the Saudis. We partnered with the uh, universities. We partnered with King Abdulaziz University, uh, Marine uh, Department. Um, uh, we are also partnering with the different universities to create different programs to, de to develop the Saudis for the future. Uh, as he said, we have two vessels, 100% Saudis, from the cook to the captain. And even uh, when you talk up, look at the Marines, we have trainees and we have captains. So we have. We are actually building the Saudis for the future. Um, that's great. And then finally, what are your thoughts on the current outlook of the market and any future plans for 2019 coming up that we can expect? Well, we, we have done a thorough job on a five plus five year plan. Uh, we have uh, examined the market properly. Uh, the oversupply will be still a, a challenge because there are too many ships basically out there. Uh, Saudi Arabia remains to be the best market so it's very good to be a good position there. Abu Dhabi is picking up uh, the issue geopolitical uh, are adding some advantage and disadvantages to us. Of course, Qatar is a place we, we are not going to look at. We didn't look at it earlier either, but uh, again, the oversupply is going to be the, the challenge for a couple of more years to come. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we go? Or? Yeah, I'll just like to add that uh, when you talk about the challenges, as Babak was saying, we actually look at that as an opportunity. We, we, uh, 
we were ahead of the market in terms of Saudizations. Uh, we took the opportunity that the, 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 the market was slowing down, we restructured, uh, we created policies, we developed a program to retain our employees and to train our employees. And I think that is really basically built a strong foundation for us to, to shoot higher in the coming two years. Yeah, I agree. Uh, again, um, we try to stay ahead of the game. That's, that's the simple thing we have to do. We read uh, micro data and, and, and make sure we, we are doing the, going on the right, right path. Uh, we are a bit conservative. We don't take unnecessary risks. Anything we have done, uh, been calculated and been successful actually. We bought the second lift boat uh, last year. Our first lift boat was with our hookup contract. So it's the first time now Zamil Marine has two long-term agreement for two uh, jack-up barges. We have brought in another three from uh, subcontracted them. So we have a, a good fleet of lift boats. So yes, we, we, we measure every step we take, but we go fast. We try to go fast. <laughs> Well, uh, best of luck with all your future endeavors and uh, enjoy the rest of the exhibition. Thank you very much.